I'm just gonna go down here and pull the uh, latch that was over here in the corner, pull it up. The only kind of weird thing I'm experiencing is uh, this with the latch not working. So you can go down here, you can uh, pull it up, but for some reason it's not, it's not going. I'm not exactly sure what was the problem with it. So, so the only way I could get this to open up is how to put my little hand sanitizer bottle down there, hold the uh, latch open, then we can uh, pan away around to the front. Try this again. The tongue does come out. I'm trying to do this with one hand, sorry. Then. I'm trying to do it with one hand is kind of hard. It will come up. So, need to figure out what the problem is. All right, so after a little investigating, you know, you gotta make sure your linkages are okay. Um, you know, look in here, make sure your springs are all right. All the latches pulling properly. Um, yeah, the mechanism is working right. The whole latch. Everything's there. You know, you expect it. See any, like, coils. The coils back in here. See if anything's wrong with that. Uh, make sure it's on there, okay? Because I think when you pull it, it goes down to match here. So that's that's working. And I thought oh, to myself, what could it be? And uh, pan over here to the latches. There's one over here to your right, one over to your left. You'll see. And if you pan your way down, you'll see that you have the latches here. Those look pretty good. Uh, working condition. You know, you can just kind of take a look at them and see if, you know, if they're broken, the springs around it are broken or you know, something like that, but those seem to be in pretty good condition overall. All right, so then I remembered one day uh, that I put the hood up and a spring and a piece of black round thing went flying. And it was actually coming from this thing right here. Didn't know exactly what that was. You can pull the hood back up safely um, without it coming flush with the, uh, what is this called, a rebar or something like that whatever so it won't be flush with this so i think what i'm gonna do today is try to take this out and then replace it with a nice brand new one um i'm not sure if you can see i'm gonna try to zoom in my zoom's not really working too well on my iphone so here's the part number for that if yours is broken a lot of people don't even know it's broken and it's been gone or the spring's gone so that's one of the culprits of why the hood goes completely flush and doesn't come up so easily. All right, so take it out. Um, all you have to do is grab a pair of pliers of any choice, squeeze down here in the middle, and um, it'll just pull out just like that. The tabs are pretty much break. Uh, you can pull it out because your unit's already broke. So up next, we're gonna just uh, stick the new one in there. I'm hoping that it just clicks in. I think this, these pieces on the side will click in to here and uh, these will hold in once you go in. So let's see if that works as I'm putting it in. Okay, let's so snatch it down a little bit. All right, I think that's uh, in there snug. All right, let's see, moment of truth. See if this kind of device works. I'm not exactly sure, because I'm kind of new at these cars. So let's give it a shot. Go down here, pull the latch. Oh, it came up right away too, so it kind of popped. Sorry, it's my pet crow. It's right up there, right there. Always flies around where I'm at. You, if you watch my videos, you'll notice that they're in pretty much a lot of videos when I'm outside. All right, now getting back to uh, the subject, I digress. So once I hit it, you see that the latch and the tongue came right out. So that's most likely the fix. If you're having a problem um, like this, and then hopefully um, this should definitely help out with that. So if you like this video, definitely check it out. And... Um, 
we'll see you in the next video. But, well, actually, my sister's leaving her Mustang right now. You know, we got sports cars in the family. <laughs> I got the S55. My sister's got the black Mustang. I guess you guys would know it in there. I'm really not a Mustang person, but you know, keeping it cool. All right, guys, thanks for checking out my video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.